Muse, Black, JM. Submersible the Titanic reach in disaster, we continue with the submersible Titanic that went missing. When the mission becomes difficult and rescue fails that gone down in history. When submarine with five people on board went missing during a Dive to the wreckage of the Titanic Ocean Gate, the herald of deep-sea exploration, sought to pierce the oceans. Titan submersible, a vessel designed to conquer depths, it was the embodiment of human ambition, but on June 2023, the abyss stared back the Titan imploded swallowed by the very depths it was made to explore. What happened in those dark waters, join News Black JM, as we navigate through waves of intrigue courage and revelation this is not just. A deep sea dive, it's an odyssey into the heart of the ocean's enigma, the depths, are unravel the events of that fateful day, let's take a step back to understand the origins of Ocean Gate, and the vision behind the Titan submersible Ocean Gate based in Everett, Washington, is an American privately owned company that specializes in providing crude submersibles for tourism industry. Research and exploration for the company was founded in 2009 by Stockton Rush and Guillermo Sunline initially Ocean Gate, acquired a submersible vessel named Antipodes, and later built two of its own submersibles Cyclops I and Titan at the lineage and ambitions were as deep as the oceans he sought to explore Stockton. Rush a man driven by ambition and a thirst for exploration has a background steeped in history and a relentless drive to push the boundaries of human discovery born into a lineage of remarkable individuals Russia's ancestors include Richard Stockton and Benjamin Rush, both signatories of the Declaration of Independence Attendance. From an early age Rush carried the weight of this legacy, a heritage that fueled his desire to leave an indelible mark on the world. Initially aspiring to become a fighter, pilot Rush's dreams of soaring through. The skies were hindered by imperfect. Eyesight undeterred, he redirected his passion for exploration towards the vast expanse of space he yearned to be more than just a tourist in the stars he wanted to be Captain Kirk exploring. Uncharted territories like a modern day. Pioneer in 2004 Rush witnessed a pivotal moment in the history of space travel as the first privately funded aircraft brushed against the edge of space. Richard Branson, the iconic entrepreneur, stood on the wing and proclaimed the arrival of a new era of space tourism. But instead of being enthralled by this, Prospect Rush's interest abruptly waned, he yearned for more than just being a tourist, he craved the role of an explorer, a discoverer of the unknown. Rush's insatiable curiosity and love for the underwater world led him to the depths of the ocean with a background in scuba diving and an affinity for underwater exploration, he ventured into the realm of submersibles in his mid-forties. Rush began tinkering with a kit for a single-person mini-submersible piloting it in the shallow waters near his home. In Seattle, these early experiences ignited a flame within him compelling him to dive deeper and explore further he built his fortune by investing in tech companies and Decided to venture into the submersible. Industry Rush believed that there was an unmet business opportunity in private ocean exploration, which he thought was hindered by the submersible's unwarranted reputation as dangerous vehicles and rigid government regulations. Ocean Gate's business model involved renting its submersibles to researchers and transporting tourists who the company referred to as citizen scientists for underwater excursions. The company's first tourist excursion was conducted in 2010 transporting groups to Catalina Island off the coast of California to enhance the tourist experience Ocean Gate began bringing 
expert guides aboard the dive's experts, had warned about its flaws, but their concerns were ignored ocean gates. Ambitions culminated in the creation of the Titan submersible, a vessel that would become a symbol of both triumph and tragedy. In 2021 Ocean Gate began taking paying tourists in the Titan submersible to visit the wreck of the Titanic the Titan. Submersible was a significant achievement for Ocean Gate it was designed to dive deep into the ocean and was used for various purposes including research and tourism one of the notable missions of the Titan was to create a detailed 3D model of the Titanic wreck and retrieve artifacts from the site under strict guidelines and permissions. Two months before the tragic event Ocean Gate Expeditions released a promotional video boasting about the very safe Titan. Submersible, the video posted on Ocean Gate's YouTube channel advertised the dollar 25,000 a ticket trip as extremely safe. Ocean Gate Expeditions offers the once in a lifetime opportunity to be a specially trained crew member safely diving to the Titanic wreckage site. The speaker is heard saying in a voiceover. The video featured Ocean Gate workers, past passengers Stockton Rush, Paul Henry, Nargali, and NASA astronaut Scott. Parazinski, who praised the submersibles, engineering and safety with the Titan, making waves in the world of deep sea exploration no one could have foreseen. The dark turn that lay ahead however in the aftermath of the tragedy passed. Passengers who had been on the 12-000-foot dive aboard the Titan shared concerns they had with ocean gates. Safety measures additionally in 2018-38. Members of the Marine Technology Society's Manned Underwater Vehicles Committee had written to Stockton Rush, expressing concerns about the way Titan had been developed. However on June 18, 2023 a tragic event occurred when the Titan imploded during a voyage to the Titanic wreck site resulting in the loss of all five occupants on board including Stockton. Russian International Search and Rescue Operation was launched and the wreckage was found on the seabed about 500 meters from the Titanic wreck site. Following this incident Ocean Gate closed its Everett office indefinitely and suspended all exploration and commercial operations. As we grapple with the tragedy of the Titan it's impossible not to draw parallels with another maritime tragedy that has captivated the world for over a century. Let's anchor for a moment at the early 20th century where a colossal ship named the RMS Titanic embarked on a journey that would be etched in history forever. The Titanic was a British registered ship part of the White Star Line which was owned by a U.S. company the ship was built in Belfast, Northern Ireland, and was the largest and most luxurious passenger ship of its time. Launched on May 31, 1911, the Titanic set sail on its maiden voyage from Southampton to New York City on April 10, 1912 carrying two 240 passengers and crew. However the Titanic's voyage was destined for calamity on April 15, 1912. After striking an iceberg in the North Atlantic the Titanic sank taking with it over 1,500 lives. This disaster shook the world and remains one of the deadliest maritime tragedies in modern history the sinking of the Titanic was a catalyst for change. In maritime safety regulations it led to the establishment of the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea, SALAS which is considered one of the 
most important international agreements. For the safety of merchant ships now, let's dive into the depths of the ocean, where the Titanic rests and make a connection with the Titan submersible. The Titan submersible, a modern marvel of engineering, was designed for deep sea exploration, just like the Titanic. The Titan was a symbol of human achievement. The Titanic's wreck site, lying at a depth of about 12,000 feet, is a place that the Titan submersible had. The capability to explore the Titan could have been instrumental in studying the Titanic's wreck, creating detailed 3D models and retrieving artifacts for research and preservation. With the stage set and history as the Backdrop the Titan embarked on what would become its final voyage. Fast forward to June 18, 2023, a day that will be etched in maritime history. The Titan submersible operated by Ocean Gate embarked on an ambitious expedition to the depths of the North Atlantic Ocean. The mission was clear to visit the final resting place of the RMS Titanic. The Titan submersible was deployed from MV Polar Prince, which had departed from St. John S. Newfoundland on June 16, 2023, and arrived at the dive site on June 17, 2023. The Titan began its descent on the morning of June 18, 2023. On board, the submersible were five individual Stockton Rush, the CEO of Ocean Gate Paul Henry, Nargali a French deep-sea explorer and Titanic expert. Hamish Harding, a British billionaire. Businessman, Shazara Dawood, a Pakistani. British billionaire businessman, and Dawood's son Suleiman, Paul Henry, a man, consumed by an unwavering obsession with, the Titanic found himself entangled in a remarkable opportunity, his deep connection to the ship often compared to Ulysses Sirens made him an ideal guide for Ocean Gate's ambitious submersible project. With his wealth of knowledge and experience, Paul Henry embarked on a new chapter in his lifelong pursuit of the Titanic's secrets as the Titan descended into the depths. The crew was in high spirits, eagerly anticipating the wonders they would encounter. However, tragedy struck about one hour and 45 minutes into the dive communication with the Titan was lost and it failed to resurface at the scheduled time as hope hung by a thread a monumental effort was launched to find the Titan and its crew news of the disappearance spread like wildfire, igniting a media frenzy focused on the race against time, the world anxiously watched as the countdown began aware that the submersible's oxygen supply was Dwindling every passing hour intensified the urgency to locate and rescue the stranded occupants, the authorities were alerted the search and rescue operation was conducted by an international team led by the United States Coast Guard, U.S. Navy and Canadian Coast Guard. Support was provided by aircraft from the Royal Canadian Air Force and United. States Air National Guard, a Royal Canadian Navy ship, as well as several 